Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Catherine Raker of The Chef You and I. I want to welcome back my friend and pastor, Father Andrew Umberg, the chef extraordinaire. Hello, Father. How are you today? Great, Catherine. Good to see you. How are you doing? Well, you haven't been on the show in a while. I know, I know. I've lost a little weight. I noticed that the first thing you walked in the door. So what are we making tonight? Well, I was thinking uh, an end of the summer barbecue, except for the, the main dish. We'll have some of the other, the other stuff that goes along with it or could go along with it. Right, because I have a new barbecue sauce I have to tell you about. Skip Kenny barbecue, and we're going to use it. I'm going to use it later uh, another time. I'm going to give you a bottle so you can try it out. But these are important things that you have besides barbecuing or making chicken or whatever. All That's right? right. So the first thing you want me to do is what, Father? Well, I'd like you to uh, continue peeling this peach. Okay. And we're going to peel two peaches because we're going to make a blueberry, blackberry, and peach pie. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Father. Yes, at this time of the year, uh, the berries are still pretty abundant. They were still on sale. And really? I thought it would be fun to get those. Blackberries, though, tend to be pretty expensive, at least, as you know, in Ohio they are. Yeah, they are. And uh, so I have two small packs of these, two four-ounce mm -hmm. packs. But then I bought a quart of the blueberries, which well, are uh, a little I bit cheaper. I love blueberries, and they're so good for you, Father, especially if you're trying to lose weight like both of us are. Exactly, exactly. Okay, and fulfilled with good antioxidants, enough? that's beautiful. Okay. Thank you. And then uh, we're going to cut that up into little cubes eventually. I'll do that okay. when, when they're peeled. And then we are then uh, going to uh, make a pie, a, a, a one and a half crust pie. A one and a half crust pie? Yes, yeah, so, well, why is it one and a half, Father? Because we can cut off. 25% of the calories of the, by oh, that's uh, a good that idea. So anyway, I bought some pie, um, some pie crusts already made. Yeah. I know some of you at home will have your own special pie crust that you like to make, right. but I just bought two pie crusts. I know some people like pie sticks Whoops. and the things like that. I don't like anything that I have to roll the whole thing out and make a, a mess with. So yeah. uh, I'm just going to unroll these. I've taken them out of the refrigerator before and I had them out of the box even so that they're about room temperature. So Father, I'm going to go ahead. Father, is this not good or something? Yeah, I would say that peach is not going to do it. Sorry. Right. I didn't um, think so. So what do you want to so, do? Just use one peach? Yeah, we can just use one peach. Okay, because so yeah, That's the nice thing about a pie. The expression easy as pie applies because, uh, you know, it's you don't have to be pie, too exact. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to mess up a pie. That's especially true. Especially when you buy the pie crust, you know. Okay. So how have you lost weight, Father? Well, I've cut down a lot on my eating. Yeah. I've eaten a lot of fresh foods over the summer, including some of, some of what I'm making here tonight, right. including the pie. Uh, when I made it at home, I made it with an artificial sweetener. Okay, um, which we have by yeah. the way. Well, tonight we were going to go with sugar, but we could, well, we could always We've substitute. We've got Splenda. Okay, well, we could do that, too. Yeah, um, we're always on a diet as well. Well, good. Then that, that would make it a healthier pie. Do you want these in little pie. cubes? Um, that would be great, yes. Just a little bit smaller than what you've got there is fine, yeah. Okay. And uh, so I'm undoing the pie. I'm finding a way to mess up pie even with, uh, yeah, with really? uh, pie. Yeah, so anyway, okay. uh, this one might be the one that we want to use uh, for the, uh, okay, so there the top you of the pie. And um, inside because we're only going to use half of it, right? Somehow in the middle, these things get a little bit sensitive. And, and in the middle where they roll them up. The rest of them unroll nicely, but right. you can get a little bit of a mess there at the beginning. See how that's, that's indented? That's beautiful. Easy then, to do, Father. Yeah, I like it because it's easy. Okay, so this one's a winner. That's there a winner. we go. See, and again, I need to warm this up a little bit. If I just put my hands here for a second, that gets that shortening a lot more flexible. Wow. You know, you don't want the outside of it getting real warm because then you end up ripping it up as you're trying to put it on right. there. So, so anyway, here we go. Here's the pie uh, pan. Right. I'll put that directly in there. Mm -hmm. And we won't do a lot of ceremony with this. Just we'll make sure it's in there nice and snugly and all the way up. 
Okay. And again, we have a little bit more crust to put on the top, so that'll be nice. Okay. Then, in our uh, bowl, we will go ahead and start off here uh, with, uh, let's see. The blueberries? The blueberries, yes. And how many blueberries I mean, are you going to put in there, the whole thing? I'm going to put the whole thing in, yes. I have found that I've never said, oh, there's too many berries in this pie. Maybe I will tonight, who knows, but... Um, <laughs> You know, I'm hoping not anyway. They look great. Okay, I think they're nice. Okay, and, can I get in uh, here Gary, to get something washing. for you? Ready to go. Hold on. Okay. See these little wonderful things that we use? They're so great, especially when you're dealing with anything. Okay, that yes. you got to scoop up, right? Sure. Okay, yeah. so now what's next? Well, now you can go ahead and scoop those up and throw those right into here. So again, we have our blueberries, right? We have our right. peach. Right, there you go. One more little piece there, great. Yeah, if you go ahead and pop open the other thing of blackberries. Sure. Okay, just throw them in. Uh, yes, and this then. This is simple. Yeah, so far simple, right? And here's okay. the thing yeah. is I like, the blueberries tend to be um, sweeter, mm -hmm. it's too sweet and bland for a pie in my opinion. Okay. Um, I, maybe, I just, I'm, maybe I'm just a bitter person, but I like things a little bit more sour. Anyway, yeah, and so the peach, yeah, the peach adds a little bit more sour, sourness to it. And of course the blackberries are very sour. Instead right. of using, if I were using just blueberries, I'd put a little bit of lemon juice in. But oh, as yeah. it is, I'll do this and I'll cut the blackberries a little bit though, even while they're here. Mm -hmm. I guess I could take them down and kind of cut them this way. Would but I like, like to make to sure that? that, yeah, just, uh, you know, not every one of them has to be cut, but it's nice to have some of them cut to make sure that you're going to get that nice blackberry juice going everywhere, flavoring the pie, making it tart as well as sweet. Okay. And here, I'll just throw out the other biggest ones here. Okay. And then uh, some cornstarch. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll need um, a few tablespoons of that. So again, this is a quart of blueberries, two four-ounce packs of blackberries, mm -hmm. one peach, mm -hmm. and uh, it should all fit in there pretty well. Right. It did last time I did this. Mm-hmm. And uh, so... Oh, we found the cornstarch. Yay! How many okay, tablespoons so now? I'm saying at least three tablespoons. Here are the tablespoons. Okay. Three tablespoons in there? Uh, in, the, in, in, in this little bowl. One. And I've cut another berry or two One. here, so that's good enough, I think. Three. Okay, there, you've got three, three tablespoons. Okay. okay. One, okay, if you'll go ahead and put the rest of those berries in there then, that'll be great. Mm -hmm. By the way, you can use frozen blueberries and blackberries as well. They might be a little bit cheaper uh, throughout the year. Yeah. But let them get to room temperature first. Okay. Before you even put them in the bowl here. Okay. Because, because why? Uh, we, we want to, when we put the pie in, we don't want to add the cornstarch mixture and let it sit too long. We don't want it to get too soaked in. Okay. And the other thing is, that pie is going to start cooking the crust right away. The crust will wow. begin cooking, and we want the inside, the fruit, to get hot enough to start to break down and to start to boil and make that nice, that uh, you know, good. yeah, syrupy pie crust that we like so okay. much. So I need what? a little bit of cold water now, and I'm saying, oh, about, we'll start with a quarter cup of cold water. Just a, a quarter cup, as it will be enough. Okay, and then. Here's about a quarter okay. cup, Father. Okay, great. And then, what do you want let's see, I, if, I, if, I, if you take a little spoon and uh, mix that up real nice. Uh, the, the thing is with the cornstarch, you want to make sure there's no that, lumps yeah, yeah, there's no lumps in the cornstarch and it's got to be cold. Okay. So if we're going to go with regular sugar, which is fine, I'm putting in a cup. Now this might be a little bit challenging, but this is a cup of regular uh, granulated sugar, uh -huh. okay? Uh -huh. And we're throwing that in there like that, okay? Uh -huh. You might be able to do a little bit less. But again, I think you have a tart pie. If you like honey, that's a nice combi uh, nice it's thing, a to, put thing in to do. It's a great thing to do. It's very healthy and for you. And how too. much honey? Well, uh, you know, to taste, and you almost have to try your first pie. Now, what, earlier this summer, because the berries are going to be different levels of sweetness and, and uh -huh. tartness, uh -huh. so my, uh, the pie was even too tart for me, the one that really? I made, because I tried, to I tried to use the artificial sweetener even very sparingly. I had no regular sugar in it. So I poured some honey on it after it was already done. Oh, that tastes good. And yeah, and uh, yeah, so I just, then I could control just how much I needed. I it was still delicious. Oh, okay, then I need a, a nice a big spoon to, to mix the fruit together a okay, little bit. Okay, so hold on. <coughs> um, here's a big 
that's wonderful. Okay, mm -hmm. anyway. I'm going to get behind you and oh, okay. wash my hands. Oh, okay. Because they're turning purple, Father. Yeah, mine's on, mine are on the way to being purple, too. Really? Okay, so here we go. We've got the pie now with a cup of, the, we, well, we have the ingredients for the pie. We have the right. two kinds of berry. Again, a quart of blueberries, two four-ounce packs of blackberries, and one peeled and chopped peach. Okay? Right. And right. we have a cup of sugar. And now we're adding a whole teaspoon of cinnamon. Of cinnamon, yes. You, you gotta, like cinnamon, don't you? I do. It's really I good mean, for you, actually. Yes, and I, and I hate to have a pie that just seems a little weak on the cinnamon. It's right. pretty hard to overpower with right. the cinnamon, in my opinion. I, right. I guess if I put it's a tablespoon like in. kind of like the garlic. You know? Yes, like the garlic and everything savory. I like right. a lot of uh, right. this in there. Okay, so isn't that nice? So That's again, beautiful. okay, so it's looking Good. on the way to being a pie. Uh -huh. Okay, and then the last of the, the, the uh, cinnamon then. Okay. Okay, so one, one more quick stir. Right. That was uh, really simple success. too. Anybody can do this. Exactly, and then go ahead and give what that, that cornstarch mixture one more stir. So again, what we have is three tablespoons of cornstarch uh -huh. and about a quarter cup of cold water. We just kind of guesstimated. Right. And then go ahead and just pour that all over the berries. And pour it real fast because I'll stir it a little bit. And then I'll stir it a tiny bit more. Okay. Like that. And then see, you can see it's, you know, they're wet, but it's, everything's not saturated. That's right. It's nice, in my opinion, about uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. I'll put that down. Oh, wait, I might need this. And so into the uh, pie shell go the berries with the other stuff. Uh -huh. And see? Beautiful. You can tell I'm not using an untested recipe because, look, it all fits in just wonderfully. It does. That's perfect. And see how the peaches are just distributed throughout there. So kind of a nice little, yeah, nice little surprise throughout. A little bit more color in it. I think right. it's very nice. So when do you do nice the other? Do this, okay? When do you do that? And then I'll take this other piece of pie crust. Right. And uh, again, that I seem to have uh, injured a little bit here. If I can have that knife. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cut it in half. And um, I could be kind of artsy about it and make like little leaves. If I had a cookie cutter, I could I could do that. But right now, here yeah, we go. I here, I, I, that's fine. If you just take a little step back, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'll we're going to do some strips. Exactly. And then we'll go ahead. We're not going to try to make a perfect uh, what lattice on it, but we'll we'll make it look nice it'll enough. Be nice okay. Yes. Yeah, so it'll be nicer than just looking at the berries by themselves. And more importantly, it only takes a couple of seconds. Again. This is our easy pie recipe. Uh -huh. uh, hopefully it will be delicious as well as easy. Right. Okay. Another little detail that uh, I, I see that I've neglected here. What was is, that? Uh, is if I can have one more little knife. Or, or no, I'll tell you what, a teaspoon would be good. If you could get me a teaspoon. I forgot to put a little butter in. Okay? Uh -huh. And again, it's best, I should have done that after I put it in the shell, uh -huh. but before I put on the strips. But guess what? Uh, through the miracle of melting butter, it uh -huh. will melt in there very nicely, and it'll still be delicious. Um, maybe um, a couple of tablespoons for the whole pie. Uh -huh. that, that, that piece is probably a little bit more generous than we want to be there. Um, it just uh, d gives the pie a little bit more richness th throughout, uh -huh. uh, to, uh -huh. to have that little bit of... So I want to make sure I have it kind of as, as central as possible. And again, maybe, maybe a tablespoon and a half, not... Not, not more than that. Okay, so this pie, I think we'll go ahead and throw a couple more strips on, and we'll go okay. ahead and throw it on in there. In the oven, right? Yes, yes. Uh, we've been heating the oven to about 375. That's good. Uh, yeah. Can you, and, get, um, you, t you already did that. I don't have any. Okay. Yeah, there we I go. And that's, that's wonderful. Just, Just if you cut like that, that other one that down the middle, and we'll throw those on, and it's okay. good to go. Okay. Again, I wish I would have put the butter on before I put any of these strips on, but... We got it pretty well distributed. I think it's nice. Yeah, I think I don't that think anyone's it doesn't have to be. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. One more. Okay. Waste not, want not. Yeah, why not? Right there. And then put one more on. Well, I'll put that there. And right. Okay. Okay. We're going to take a, we're going to take a break, put the pie in the oven. And we're going to keep it in there for how long, Father? About an hour. Uh, yes, about an hour, yeah. So 375 for one hour. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to be back with Father Andrew Umberg and Catherine Raker, and we're doing what next? 
Uh, next it will be guacamole and tabbouleh. And tabbouleh. We'll be right back. We're back on The Chef, you and I, and Father Umberg is doing his second recipe, and that is what, Father? Tabbouleh. That tabbouleh. Is, yeah, the famous Near Eastern salad. Ooh, Parsley delicious. salad with bulgar delicious. wheat. So I have some bulgar wheat here, and that's what we start off with. You want to do this way ahead of time, right. um, like in the morning, uh, whatever, you know, uh, yeah. before your barbecue. And I'm going to put in about three quarters of a cup. Okay. So I'm pouring this in here. Now this is usually in the kind of specialty grains section of the store. Sometimes it's in the kind of organic cereal section. You got to mm -hmm. kind of look around for it. Mm -hmm. but anyway, so we've got about, and again, this is, doesn't have to be too precise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have uh, three quarters of a cup here, more or less, right. and it goes into this bowl. Then we have been heating up in the microwave twice as much water, a right. cup and a half. Right. Three quarter and three quarter is a cup and a half. So okay. whatever amount, you want to have twice as much hot water, bring it to a boil even, this was just boiling, and then we'll pour that on to the bulgur. To the bulgur wheat, yeah. All right. And then I like to do this. Uh, we're going to add cumin later on, but I like to add some of the cumin and get that kind of baked right into the thing or oh, boiled right into the thing good. ahead of time. So I'm going to take a little bit of cumin, yeah, about, um, let's say about a half teaspoon for now. There's a half teaspoon. Wonderful. And do you want to do the honors? Yes, I'll do the honors. Uh, it can be a heaping half teaspoon even. Uh, okay. But then just go ahead and just put that right in there then. Great. Okay. And if you'll recap that. Sure. Okay, then I'm going to just stir it up a little bit here, make sure mm -hmm. it's all nice and homogenized. Now, we'll cover that then. With a piece of aluminum foil. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, we can use one of those. That would be wonderful. Okay. Oh, okay. Put it doesn't need to be covered. Yeah, and we'll put it aside because that will that water, it doesn't look like it, but that water will all soak into there very nicely. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, okay. so we've begun uh, the, the, the tabbouleh, mm -hmm. and then uh, I also want to begin the guacamole, if we can kind of be doing two layers at once. We can do two layers at okay. once, brother. So what do you want okay. to do? Okay, well, here's the thing this? is, uh, for, well, I'll tell you what, if you can work a little bit on the tabbouleh by getting rid of the ends of these and cutting these green okay. onions up to about here okay. maybe or something like that. Okay. Okay. okay, and then I'll move some of these knives out of the way. Thank Meanwhile, you. I'm going to do something. Uh, I'm going to get um, a jalapeno pepper, which we are now going to roast. And we're going to roast this by using metal tongs. Uh, it, it's nice if you have a gas range to right. do this, and you can do it on the flame. Although, if, if you have a grill, it's even nicer to just go ahead and put it out uh, on the grill. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you want to make sure you poked a hole or two first. Right. Because I hear these things can explode. That's never happened to me, and I don't want we it don't to. We don't want it to, buddy. Exactly. So, uh, by the way, that has some nice hot jalapeno juice on it there at the end. Yeah. So anyway, I, 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 I poked a couple of holes. Uh, just, for, uh, just for good measure, I'll uh, put is that two good? on each side. Is that good? That's great, but then we're going to go ahead and cut them all down to, you know, okay. Thomas almost... Smith. But, I mean, you can get them all together first and then, okay, you know, go, go at them. Okay. okay, so I'm going to turn on the stove here. Uh -huh. Let's see, I'll put on this back burner. And actually, I'll put on the front burner because I want a little bit more flame than that ready to go. Okay, okay then I'm going to take some metal tongs. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've learned that this is the easiest way to do this. You, you might have uh, the type of thing where you can leave it right on the, uh, the metal of the stove, but I think okay. you know, we can do that. Yeah, I think this will work here a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'll put this here. And we're, so we're roasting the jalapeno pepper. Actually, it's not working too well, so I'm going to I'm gonna hold it by the end here okay. and really get it down there into those flames. And you see a uh, uh, jalapeno pepper is a nice, big, shiny thing. It almost looks like it's made out of uh, plastic on the outside, like any pepper uh, normally does. Okay. But see, look what we're doing to it. We're really scalding well, it, blistering it. So you want me and to it, split these down the middle now? How do you want me to do uh, this? Sure, you can split them down the middle and then, and then cut them into tiny little slices then. Okay. And another thing that you can do, uh, besides the grill or here, and what if you have just an electric range and you just want to make some guacamole and you don't have a grill either? Well, what you can do 
is you can put a little oil, a little vegetable oil in a pan, preferably not olive oil, uh -huh. and you go ahead, you again uh, poke the uh, jal jalapeno pepper a couple of times and simply scald it by cooking it in the skillet like a hot dog. Right. And you'll, we'll see what we're going to do then. This is roasting the pepper, making it a little bit more mellow, a little less hot, a little less harsh. Mm -hmm. But not only that, it's going to make it so it'll peel very easily because we're going to peel that plasticky outside right off of it. And now that it's more like burnt plastic, we'll be able to do that very easily. Be careful when you're handling jalapeno because they again, can be yeah, you don't want to touch your eyes after it, and you know, lots of. Lots I, you of know what I usually do, Father, is I use plastic gloves when I'm working with it. Oh, okay. Which makes saves your cell from ever getting it in your eyes, right? That's good. I hope I won't demonstrate what that's like <laughs> in a minute here. Okay. Okay. And then look at our nice scalded wow. jalapeno pepper. Wow, Father. Then what I'll do is I'll take a fork. Mm -hmm. Um. Right. And I'll take a knife, and I think kind of more of a steak knife type of knife is, is nice. I'm left-handed, so i got to go like this. And watch this. So I'll turn this sideways, and watch me. I'll go. Ooh, and that's look at nice. how that look. comes right off of that thing. Wow. See how I'm taking off that whole outside? Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to be real scrupulous about it. You know, if, if there's a little bit left, gee, do i got to keep fighting with that? No, I don't think you do. I haven't before, and I've lived to tell the tale. In Can fact, you really? And I fa in fact, it would, turned out fine. These different things. Salsa. It's nice if you do this before a salsa as well. Uh, there are se several things that I think it's just really nice to roast the jalapenos first. But again, it can be kind of a grim business. Because if you, if you scold them in the skillet, yeah. you might find that your kitchen smells kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what. Like an acid factory or something. Really? something. Yeah, it's a, it can be a little bit tough. You wouldn't want to have any of that uh, grease splatter on you either. No. And, you know, so you got to watch these very carefully when you're cooking. But that way you can, whether it's a serrano pepper or a jalapeno pepper, uh -huh. or whatever you're doing, you could, you could do them both at the same time if you want, both kinds, uh -huh. or se several of them at a time. Uh -huh. You know, this other way you're holding them and it's a little bit tricky. Okay, then... Now what do you want me to do with these, steaming. buddy? Okay, now I want them cut and uh, with a French knife or with uh, whatever knife you would like. Like this? They're very thin slices, so, yeah. Okay. Okay, and now with this jalapeno, uh -huh. I'm going to cut it down the middle like this now. See, this fork is a very nice tool uh -huh. for this because it, it ha hangs on to it. In fact, the Spanish word for fork is tenedor. It means holder. So. Right. So we'll go like this. And then, look, we have all these seeds in here. I don't want all those seeds in there. The yeah. seeds are kind of hot and a yeah. little bit bitter, and we don't want all that. Mm -hmm. Now, again, do we have to be scrupulous about getting every one? No, we don't. Okay? Uh, uh -huh. We want most of them out, though. We want most of this white matter out. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so I'm doing that still with just two instruments, kind of a steak knife and a fork. Okay. So here I am like this, and here I am like this. You know, okay. I was working this week at Jungle Gyms. Oh. Uh, with the new, you know. One of my favorite stores, yeah, yeah the big food, food place in Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. so. But we go Foodies all over paradise. to all the stores around the country now. Uh huh. You know, and we're trying to get our new stuff that we're the. I have to give you the rub, and he's coming out with a new mustard. He's got whiskey. He's got everything. This is Actually, all Skip uh, Kenny stuff. Or, yeah, it's uh, all okay. Skip Kenny. He's got his own smoker too now, that you can get. Huh. That would be kind of fun to have, during Oktoberfest. Yes. 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 We've had a fundraiser at our parish in Oktoberfest, which is yeah. pretty And Father and I are one. both German, so hello. Hmm. It's a lot of fun, actually. Okay. Is that enough, Father? That's great. And okay. then if I can borrow that French knife a minute, sure. then. Go right ahead. Okay. I'm just going to put this down here. And then Do you want I, me to scoop these things up for you? Actually, no. We're doing a couple things at a time. So okay. Go I'm going to quick... Uh, I'm now cutting these jalapenos long ways. Yeah. Trying not to squirt myself in the eye with any jalapeno juice. You could have left your glasses on. That might have been smart. Yeah. They double as goggles. You don't want any big pieces to surprise your guests. You yeah, know, that, you don't want that, that at all. 
So this is for the guacamole. Okay. These are for the tabbouleh. Okay, so again, the jalapeno pepper, it is for the guacamole. Okay. And uh, there's only going to be a few ingredients to the guacamole. Okay. Okay, and let's go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and, well, if you'll go ahead and get these on those scoops, and then what I'm going to do is... Uh, Where's it going to go, Father? Uh, it'll go into the, our glass bowl there. Okay. Let me and then see. I have an onion on the way okay. to being um, nice and chopped up. I want to chop it pretty finely. Uh -huh. And I probably didn't go the right direction for that. But in any case, here, well, I learned I something on the Rachel Ray show the other day. Oh. Well. You don't have to slice it down the middle. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Yeah, but if I, I want to get this really minced. Mm -hmm. Small, mm -hmm. but um, here we go. So, if you could mince this a little bit more, and it's I okay if the two it. mix, it won't point. The, the guacamole it. won't hurt the uh, the other uh, dish, the tabbouleh. Okay, so is that enough, or do you want that, to that, mince that's more? good? Let's okay. go ahead and throw these in then. Okay. So, uh, for the guacamole, we want um, the uh, uh, one onion. A medium onion, or me well, medium to large onion. So go ahead and take okay. a little bit of this as well. Okay, Father. About half of that is good. You said half? Well, yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit of it, but, well, either way. That's right. It's fine. Okay, okay. It, can, it can be mixed with the other uh, onion. That's fine. Okay. Okay, great. And then... Then do you want this other onion in there? Uh, no, no, that'll be for the tabbouleh. And okay. Uh, so, okay, so okay, now what? maybe I'm going to want more of this in there anyway. I'm sorry. Right. So again, it's just it's just what, what's a medium onion. So okay. great. Okay. Now I'm going to get uh, the avocados. Okay, they're right over uh, here, Father. Okay, great. And then if you can do what I'm doing, if we're going to take, take a break, Father. Oh, okay. Okay, and we'll be right back on the Chef You and I right after these messages. We're back on the chef, you and I, and Father, you are doing the guacamole. Right? Yes, yes, yes. So I have three three avocados. Right. Uh, they were kind of bought at at different times, so they all look a little different, different sizes. But the, the, I trust they'll all be delicious. Mm -hmm. So if you could do, go, the, uh, there are probably many ways to uh, well, what to cut. Yeah, to cut to cut an avocado. Mm -hmm. I like to cut them in quarters. Mm -hmm. So I cut the I do a line down the middle. Mm -hmm. And then on either side, and because these things can get so side. messy, yeah, no. um, they can get so messy otherwise. So I take out the pit then, and then... You take the pits out first, right? That's what I, I like to do. Okay, then uh, uh, laying them on, uh, back on the cutting board then, I try to get the peel off in one, one nice piece. This nut's not coming out. Now it's coming out. Okay. Okay, so you want it in quarters, Father? Uh, yes. Uh, that's great. Okay. Okay, let me just check this off. So this is nice. I have a little bit of a piece of a stem here. I want to get that out of there. Nothing worse than okay. uh, biting on something like that. Okay. There you go. So Father. then, okay, thank you. You're welcome. And then I will cut the quarters like this. And then I will cut them long ways like this. Right. And then. Here you go, Father. Okay. Then if you'll put the pieces down here, and if you can take your scoops and put those in there. Although first I want to salt that onion a little bit. Just, uh, you know, an eighth of a teaspoon of onion. Just need a little bit on there. Okay. Okay. And here that, here so that. Right. here we go. We have a grinding salt here. I, I like Which to is use, nice, yes. I love to use sea salt. Okay. Did you have well, a lot good. of that? I threw in that some of that on there. Um, um, I, I think I did eat some there. Mm How'd -hmm. you like the olives here? Oh, delicious, yeah. All the food is excellent. It's so fresh. But grease? Oh, my goodness, Father. I don't know. I love Greek food. Ah. He didn't know what he was talking about. Okay, there that's giving it in. Here, can you move? There we go. Sure, there? I sure can. There we go. And there, if you get that last yeah, little I'll part there. Okay, got it. And then we'll put one more in. Okay, if you go so ahead and we'll cut it the same way. Okay. Yeah. 
See, I think if you quarter it first, then it's even easier it's to get the, easier. Uh, yeah, then, then you've only got a little slice of it to get the, uh, the thing off of. Um, mm -hmm. Great. So look at us go. Mm -hmm. And then, um, then if, I, if I could uh, have a, a lime and a lemon, uh, okay. I think I've right, got the some right there. going to do that for you. Great. There. That's coming off really easy, actually. This is a good, lot. Good. That's a very, very this right, right, right one. A lot softer. That's that's beautiful. The other ones that were a lot harder, so they were easier to do it that way. But this is really already. Okay, I am now cutting into a lime. Okay. And then this lime is not a, a very ripe lime. I bought this the other day, and right. Um, so. I'm Here. gonna wash my hands, Father, just okay. a minute. Okay. And meanwhile, I'll be squeezing this lime in to uh, this lime half into the guacamole. Okay? okay? We're just about there with guacamole now. This isn't very orthodox. Be careful if you it's better to use a blunt instrument than a, than a knife, but I'm gonna go like this and see, look at all this extra uh, lime juice I can wow, ream out that's of there. A trick. And it works nicely as long as your hand doesn't slip. And then I'm putting some lemon in too. Okay. We're going to use some of the lemon in the um, in the uh, what you call it, the, the the tabbouleh. But I'll tell you what, I've recently tried a little bit of lemon as well as lime, and somehow it really lightens and brightens the flavor That's of great. the guacamole. And yeah, a lot that? of people. Yeah, we're done with that one. This one, I think we can get a little bit more out of for the tabbouleh. Okay. Okay, and then we're back to the big spoon. And again, I want to make sure I've stirred up and around that, um, that uh, what, jalapeno pepper. We don't want a big hunk of that at the bottom of the bowl. We don't want you to get this on your side. Okay. Thank you. Thank bit. you. No problem. Okay. Uh -huh. And then if I can get a little bit of plastic wrap. Plastic wrap, our producer will get that for us in just a second. Uh, wonderful. And then if I can have the salt again, a little bit of black pepper. I think I want to do one pepper. a little bit more. A little bit more of that on the top, here's and here, here's the salt. Here's a beautiful black pepper. Okay. I like and these gonna, grinding kinds. They're so much Yeah, nicer. to get an eighth teaspoon in, I think it takes a lot of grinding there, which is good. Yeah, it's wonderful this way with the sea salt. And now I'm putting in a little bit of black pepper because I like black pepper um, in this. Okay. Can you use something besides... Um, sh sh sure, that would be fine. Yeah, okay. I just... Or aluminum foil would aluminum be fine. Aluminum foil would be great. Here's aluminum foil would be great. Aluminum foil would be great. We have gonna, it right here. Okay, then I'll take a piece of that. Okay. We do that. A couple pieces. Okay, and I'm getting that thrown in there. Okay. Now here's what we're doing from what here. Just doing? one piece, please. Does just one piece is good. Thank you. Okay. And uh, that can go back uh, over there. Big, uh, here's what I'm doing then. Here's my secret. Now, so we have. It's not much of a secret, I guess, but still. I am smashing now. Smashing? This is how I'm mixing it. Instead of trying to get all that um, that avocado, you know, kind of pasty by trying to stir it, just, I have found that I like it if I get my ingredients in there, get it nice and stirred up well enough. Just smash it with a all right. And then this will be the thing. I mean, normally if it were plastic wrap, it would be the same thing that I would store it with. Yeah. You know, with the jalapeno and the lemon. I probably don't want to use that for storage, but I can use it for smashing purposes here really nicely. Yeah. Okay, and then this is pretty much ready, folks. It's just, it, what we need to do with it now is simply allow it uh, to, what? Uh, sit for a while? Yeah, sit for a while. In the refrigerator? Ideally in a refrigerator, yeah, covered. I'm going to stir it a little bit more, though, just to make sure we got it nicely stirred. And then... And then a piece of what? Yeah, and then a plate or anything over there. I just. Uh, I'll, I'll do a plate. Yeah, I just okay. don't trust aluminum foil on tomatoey things or other acidy things. Sometimes it starts pitting. All right, let's and, do this. Okay, I'll throw this in here. I'll move the spoon, and we are good oh, to go. Do you want me to put a smaller plate so that? That's fine. That that'll be wonderful, just like that. Just like this. Mm hmm. Beautiful. And then that, the I can go to the refrigerator. Then thank you. You're welcome. So what else now, Father? Well, I think I'm forced to have to sample some of this that le was left on the spoon here. Excuse me. We're going to take a short break. Mm. Good. Let's do that.
we're back on the chef you and I. And okay, and now we're and we're cutting some tomatoes. These are these are store-bought vine-ripened tomatoes. Uh -huh. And some of these have a little bit of a core, so we're cutting cutting those out a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, and then we're uh, we're mincing them then uh -huh. for the tabbouleh. So the tabbouleh uh -huh. right now, all we have in this bowl right now uh -huh. is tomato. Remember though, we uh -huh. we took the bulgar wheat. There's a B-U-L-G-A-R. Uh, uh -huh. uh, we uh, we took some of that and we put twice as much boiling water right. as bulgur wheat, and we put uh, some cor uh, some of this uh, cumin in with it, or cu cumin right. or cumin, C-U-M-I-N, and we put that in. We put in uh, about what was it? About a teaspoon of that? Teaspoon huh? of it or, or, was no, really good. Half teaspoon maybe. Half teaspoon. A again, not an exact science. We will probably add a little bit more later if we want it. Uh -huh, a little bit more. Uh -huh. And it adds a certain savory flavor that if people aren't used to you know, the smell, uh, our producer took a whiff of that smell and it kind of smelled like it. a soup. Yeah, it kind of added a lot of, a lot he of flavor. Is really of our, he actually tastes everything that we do, actually. That's Except right. he can't do bean soup. Sorry about okay. that. Okay. And that's what's coming up next, a little bit of uh, black bean soup. Yeah, I, love, I actually love black bean soup. Okay, we're almost done with these. Yes, almost done with the tomatoes. So, right now we have the tomatoes in there. In fact, while you're mincing up this last little bit, so what will we put about uh, five vine-ripened tomatoes? tomatoes. Five. Okay, and again, that's for three quarters of a cup of bulgur wheat with a cup and a half of water. And again, mm -hmm. the bulgur wheat will soak in all the water. Mm -hmm. uh, if it doesn't, you can pour a little bit of the water off, but you kind of try to wait till the end uh, before you do that, okay? Uh, and so, uh, the rest of this is going in, and then I'm going to salt this tomato a little bit. Uh -huh. Again, maybe not even an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay. And then if you go ahead and throw in that green onion now. Oh, now I can throw the green onion in. Yeah, and you know, I'll, put, I'll crack a little bit of pepper into here too. This is again uh -huh. for our tabbouleh. Um, often I would put the, uh, some of these ingredients in toward the end, right? But uh, we're trying to, you know, what we wanted to show everyone okay. how to prepare the bulgur well, what wheat. What are you going to do with this? Well, we're doing this those first. are in there too. I'll tell you what. Recently, I have found some of the green onions didn't have all the power I wanted them to. Really? And I think this should be an oniony dish. Right. Uh, we'll have garlic in it as well as some onion. Uh-huh. And. So we'll do that, and then if you can go ahead and scoop this in, I would appreciate that. In fact, I'll salt it a little bit before we put it in, even. Okay. Okay. Great. Go ahead and throw that on in. And then uh, the principal ingredient will be parsley. So really? I would ask that you go ahead and mince uh, these. We have English cucumbers. Do you want me to take the I, seeds out? Well, I hear you can leave them in, but yeah, well, maybe just to be safe. And I have an American, or well, an American cucumber, whatever kind these of cucumber British. we normally have. They're the, the non-British ones. Right. In any case, we're going to go ahead and peel them and take the seeds out of both. And then we'll cut them in about the same size uh, pieces as the tomato and the, um, and the regular onion. You know, we, we really minced up the uh, green onion to make it nice and small. If I could have the garlic then, please, uh, that would be helpful. And we'll do you, um, actually, my question is now, uh, do you want me to take the peel off or not? Uh, yes. And I'm throwing a nice bit of garlic because we, anyone that's seen my show before know that yeah. I put my foot on the gas rather than yeah. on the brake when it comes to garlic. But also that is the way this dish is made. Okay, so I'm putting two more or less heaping uh, what, te teaspoons, uh, teaspoons, I mean, conventional garlic. teaspoons, okay. So, again, I actually, that'll end up being more like two, uh, almost two tablespoons of minced garlic, uh, mm -hmm. if, you, if you get it from the jar. I will now salt that a little bit. I believe that okay. salting this stuff as we go, just a little bit, we don't want to overdo it, but I feel uh, that um, that draws out the, the flavor. So I'm going to mix this all around a little bit here. Uh, you want these cubed, Father? Uh, yes, yes, uh, like the tomatoes. Um, like the tomatoes. Okay. And I'll go ahead and I'll take one of these things in and uh -huh. work on it. The okay, one. the peeler. All right. And That's a really nice peeler. You can go either way with it. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay, let me put this in here for a minute. This in here for a minute. This in here for a minute. Okay, and then I'll cut this thing down the middle. Yes. Okay, and then I'll cut, I'll cut it down here like this. 
Again, with these seeds, we want most of them out because that'll make it a little bit easier to digest for lots of people. Yeah, because seeds are hard on people's digestion. Yes, yeah, so. Okay, where is this? And if you'll go ahead and pitch this uh, seed pot, if you will. I will. Let me just get this out. Probably. Sure, sure, sure. You know, another thing is it might be nice to quarter the, uh, the cucumbers long ways before seeding them. That can be another way that yeah, you can I, get. Do you know how I do it? <laughs> Watch. Okay. I like to do it. Well, I usually peel them first before I start, but I'm doing it this way. But I always just take a spoon and go down the middle. Take some okay. all out, and you get it all at once. Okay, then I'll let you do that I'll do it with these. You. I've hacked that one up a little bit there. Sorry okay. about that. But actually, I'll, well, I'll try the your it spoon method here a little bit. Oh, it it's does. wonderful. It's wonderful. You. Yeah, it pops right out. Now you learn something new. Exactly. From the chef, from Catherine Rieger's chef. There right. we go. Okay. Wonderful. Sample. So I've made a lot of guacamole this summer and a decent yeah. amount of tabbouleh. Yeah. So yeah, so this isn't my first rodeo, as it were. And <laughs> um, yeah, so. You were a chef before you were a priest. Hello. Right? Yes, yes, we would hope. We yeah, know. I mean, I wasn't a fully sir, but I, I cooked a lot and I did go to cooking school. Yeah. I went to a, a chef program. Yeah. yeah. And that's the most important. Well, look at me now. I'm, Listen. I'm, I'm, I've, I've learned the Catherine Raker method. It's pretty easy, I, actually. Yeah, like what? I'm getting rid of cucumber seeds in a single bound. Yeah, I know. Cool. Let me go get something to clean up this little thing. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. We're back on the chef, you and I, and I'm ripping the mint. Yes, that's what Potter. we're going to do. We're going to here. Let me show the mint real quick. Okay. Now the mint, uh, you know, I think some people have put spear, spearmint in uh, tabbouleh. I'll tell you what, I'm a peppermint lover. I mean, it's funny in gum, I want spearmint, but in tabbouleh, in cooking, as far mm -hmm. as I know, I want something more close, closer to peppermint. And mm -hmm. th this is peppermint. Mm -hmm. And we're taking these individual leaves mm -hmm. and a leaf this big, we will take and rip into about eight little pieces, more okay. or less, okay? So, okay, got it. And I put it right over the top of the thing and throw those on in there. Then I've got two sprigs of parsley, or I mean not two sprigs, two, two bunches of parsley. We've rinsed off the mint and we've rinsed off the parsley. And what I do here is I take this parsley and I just rip off the heads. I try not to get too much stem in it. But see, it can go pretty quickly here if, I, you know, if I'm good. And then at some point, oh, now can you smell that? How delicious. Oh. The mint and the parsley together oh, now. Yeah. Before we just had onion, which is a little bit, getting a little bit overpowering. Mm -hmm. But now we're, we're kind of sweetening up, sweetening up the whole thing mm -hmm. uh, by putting this in there. I'm sorry, I'm going mm -hmm. to th throw some stems down here for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then mm -hmm. see again the, the way this parsley grows. It's, uh, it's like little tree tops. You just rip the tree tops off the top. Mm -hmm. And continue to um, to put in it. We we can put it in the whole bunch. Again, like any salad, how much lettuce do you need for a salad? Well, there's no real science to it. So right. uh, it's how how much parsley do you want? You want enough to make sure that you have some good flavor. How much mint? Well, if you think it's too minty, then you put in too much mint. If you want more, then uh, throw more in. You know, and and it's difficult to know exactly what how it's going to turn out until you leave it in the refrigerator for a while. Let's right. first, uh, first start off with a decent, generous amount. So I'm stirring in now some, is all the mint in there that, yes. uh, that we had? Okay. Did. Okay, great. Then I will stir it in, make sure it gets everywhere. I love this parsley. It is so nice. This is English parsley, and it's not flat leaf. It looks like Yeah, I like treat. it to be the, yeah. And it, it's nice and curly, so everything gets covered with that flavor, you know. I think mm -hmm. uh, if, I, if I were cooking, I think I'd like the Italian parsley a little bit more of it. Uh, but since we're preparing a salad, uh, that, that the, the parsley isn't cooking. I, you really want this. Uh, th this will keep a couple of days in the refrigerator, you yeah. know, if you keep it covered there. So you're going to start making the bean soup, right? Yes, yes. While you're working on the parsley now, I'm right. going to begin our black bean soup. Okay. Okay, so right. with regard to our, our, our next item here, our black bean soup, oh. uh, we're going to start with... That garlic. We're going to start with garlic, but never just the garlic. We'll also use some olive oil, some extra virgin olive oil. Right. I'm going to put in about a quarter cup. Okay. 
You know, my mother and, uh, never. And we might used be approaching a third of a cup here, but we're making a lot of soup, so that's okay. My mother never ever measured anything. It was yeah. a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah, I tend to do the same thing, which I, I guess too. is. Uh, so I anyway, think after a while, you know, you know. But if you're a brand new cook, you need to do that, right? Right, or if, yeah, if it's uncharted territory and you're yeah. not sure how it should. You don't want it to so come here's out a heaping, here. again, off the table. So it's that's a good tablespoon. I'm putting two tablespoons in of chopped garlic right. into this uh, into the, a soup pot. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on, and then I'll show this real quick. Um, Here's what we've got here. We've got okay. a, again about a third of a cup, maybe a little bit more, uh -huh. of olive oil, uh -huh. and then all that garlic. Look at that garlic. Anyway, um, so I'll put that there. But there's another very important ingredient here, what? and that is bacon grease. Bacon grease for black bean soup. You know, again, I use mostly olive oil, which is of course more more healthy. Uh -huh. But I, I was frying some bacon, and I like to buy the either butcher shop bacon or the kind of thick. Right. Bacon that you can get at the grocery right. store, okay? Right. And then I'm use just pardon me. I, I need sure, to sure. Hands off. And I'm going to put in. I, so I poured the grease off of that, and I'm putting in uh, about a tablespoon, okay? Uh huh. And I'm going to mix that in right with the other with the other oil. Wow. And the garlic. Looks good. Okay, and then. Um, yeah. Yeah. As soon as that olive oil gets all over that bacon grease, it'll it'll melt very quickly. Right. So. We want, and we wanted to. Save your glass jars from your spaghetti sauce and different things. And then you can put your bacon grease or grease in it. It makes it a lot easier. Right, Father? Yes, I'm also a fan of the coffee mug. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because uh, usually a batch of bacon has just about a coffee mug's worth of grease in it. Really? Yeah, that's why. Do I you found. need any Maybe more? Maybe a little bit do more. Do you need but, any more um, parsley in there or not, Father? I would put in a little bit more, yeah, if you if you don't mind. You're and a little here, You this. really like parsley, don't you? Oh, I do. Well, it's, we're making a lot, and I think it's nice that way. Okay, I'll get rid of this, and now I start with some black beans. Again, I've just bought black beans at the store uh -huh. in the can. They have kind of almost like a syrup, kind of a purpley syrup. Uh -huh. And now that I've uh, got that, now the bacon grease is completely gone. And see, now it smells bacony in the house now. Yeah, it does. And I will take this uh, and I'll pour in a can of beans. And that's going to cool it down a little bit, which is good mm -hmm. because I had it going a little bit hot there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also going to use some chicken broth that I bought at the store. Yeah. Um, and, is that low uh, sodium, Father? Uh, some of it is, and some of it I go a little. This is uh, low sodium and uh, mostly fat free, so I'll put this in. Mm -hmm. And that does help you a lot. Cutting down on your salt helps. And uh, then the next thing I need to do is mm -hmm. um, I need to have the beans put in the blender. I'm going to, out of my, I have four cans of beans for this, okay? So four cans that are each, what are they? 15 and some change ounces, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? So I'm going to take the four, two of the cans and pour them directly in, maybe even just two and a half cans. Okay, because you want to know that there's black beans in well there. Well done, Father. I think we're, this timer is off. Oh, wow, we okay. Do. Now the pie, we turned down. We started at 375. We said we we're going to do that for an hour. It seems a little bit more intense. Uh, ovens each are a little bit curious with their own, their own way of cooking. Uh, can so I check I it out? I turned it down. Yes, you can check it out. We turned it down to 350, though, about 20 minutes in. Can I look? Sure. We're back. And Father, I'm pouring these beans that we have used in the emulsifier. So yeah, so we took we took two of the four cans of beans. In fact, we took two and a half of the four cans of beans and put them in a blender or emulsifier along with chicken broth. About just enough to make sure that it, that it would stay liquidy. Otherwise, those beans just almost turn into paste. So in this batch, then we have. Uh, again, about a third of a cup, maybe a little bit more of olive oil, uh -huh. uh, a heaping uh, tablespoon of uh, bacon grease. Uh -huh. uh, then we also have uh, what? Uh, the, uh, the garlic, about two tablespoons of garlic, uh -huh. four cans of beans, and about a cup and a half of chicken broth. And so how we long mix do you some in. Uh, it's really just about ready to go okay. as soon as the ingredients are in. However, I need the cayenne pepper still. And I'll take that, thank you. And uh, with this, we'll put in 
I'm going to say for this batch for four cans of soup, for four cans of beans, I'm going to put in um, a about good a half table? about a half table half no, tablespoon. Eh, more closer to a teaspoon. Okay. Maybe three quarters of a teaspoon we could say. Okay. Okay, and again, it's to taste. Some people would think this is really hot. You'll be amazed though how much flavor the beans can absorb, you know. And then I'm taking store-bought taco sauce. And you've got that stirred really nicely. And, uh, and so now uh, I'm going to put in about a half cup of this. This is adding a little bit of sweetener to it and a little bit more heat. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more than a half cup. Here's, here's where it's down to. It was up to here. So a third of a bottle, we could say, mm -hmm. of taco sauce, okay? Okay, now what? It is ready to serve, and it should be served. Here, if we can get it a little closer I'm gonna here. I'm going to do um, this, if he can see this. And then I'm going to put it into a nice serving a bowl. Okay, a nice serving And then there. we have sour cream to put on yeah, top. Yeah, a nice thing to put on top is sour cream and a little bit of chopped onion on the top. Okay. But again, and it's great to serve with tortilla chips. If you make the guacamole as well, then you have, you know, the, yeah. the tortilla chips already out. It's okay. a wonderful, Can wonderful I turn it dish. Off now? Yeah, yes. It's uh, as All soon right. as the ingredients now, are in, it's good to go. We're back on the chef, you and I, after a little accident, but now it's fine. So you're actually putting the bulgur into your tabula, correct? Yeah, yes, yes. Normally this would be done. I, you would normally have this at the bottom, but here I'm putting it in the top here. That sounds good. And um, looks good. Yeah, I think it'll look okay and taste okay. Um, so taste is the main thing. That's I'm I'm about to taste. Okay, so what do you want me to do with the lemon? Well, there's a good question. Um, how about going ahead and well, here I'm gonna I'm gonna toss this in a little bit because we don't want all the lemon in the bulgur. So I'm gonna go ahead again. This is bulgur with a little bit of coriander, right? We put a teaspoon right, in. Right. Not coriander. We're putting uh, cumin, cumin. Sorry, sorry. And then we'll, well, okay, now let me stir a little bit. Okay. If I can stir a little bit here and we'll get this. See, as you see, it doesn't look like as much bulgur now, does it? Now that no, it's that mixed in with all that parsley in. Okay, can and. Add more? Please do add more. Okay, watch it. And then if I can have that other lemon, okay. we're going to go ahead and put even more in. This should be a pretty lemony dish when it's all done, really. Again, you taste the lemon, the mint, the garlic, and the cumin, and uh, and you're wondering what is in this stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. unless you've I seen wish the I show, I could try it. Yes. Well, I'll try it without garlic and see what how it tastes. Okay, see how that works. I'm putting a little bit more olive oil too. I was asked by the producer, do we put a dressing on it? And the, we've got a little bit of olive oil, but I've just now added about another quarter cup of olive oil. Yeah, that looks beautiful. And I think that should be very nice And then now. you put that in the refrigerator, can you serve it yes, right away, yeah. Father? Oh, you definitely want it in the refrigerator a while. Now, okay, normally so you would be this. starting with a, but we'll show what it looks like. And it can be eaten, the classic way would be with pita bread. You know, you rip oh, yeah. up, maybe heat up a little pita bread or, right. um, and put that in with it. However, another nice thing, and in the United States, we just love our tortilla chips. And I think it's nice on tortilla chips as well. I have tried it that way, mm -hmm. and I think it's nice. We have nice. scoopers. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, look we'll at that. We'll get into those. So here we go. We have a nice portion of this now. Okay. Well, more than a portion. I actually don't eat that much, folks. That's about uh, for a family mm -hmm. of 10 or but, yeah, I think uh, about a, a couple folks. Okay. okay. Well, how nice. Okay, so, so we now have, right. what do we have going here? Now we have the pie and the guacamole. And, and the soup. The, and the soup. Let's move all that and, so uh, the photographer I think, uh, can get that real quick. So three of these items are great with chips. Great with chips, right. tortilla chips, great with tortilla chips, great with tortilla okay. chips. And we have tortilla chips as well. And I have some scoopers right here, Father. Oh, then maybe we should try a little bit here. Okay, okay. now try that, Father. Okay, so first I'll try the guacamole. And it's probably, I could probably use some more smashing here of these things, but mm -hmm. that won't really affect the flavor. I can't try, Father. Sorry. Is it good? Now, Very nice. Why don't you try this, Father? Scoop that into here. Okay. You can do that. Yeah, this is very garlicky, so okay, I better eat it. this one. Yeah, you better eat it. Okay. Because guess what? Catherine can't. So, if you're like me and you're allergic to garlic, just leave the garlic out. Well, I think we had a really lot of fun tonight, and I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's great and to be here. You have to come again next month. We'd love to have you. And we want to say to all of you, don't forget to check out the chefyouandi.com.
go to our new television show, our new television network, which is mytv2go.net, and go on the Lifetime and go to Catherine Raker's World. We'll see you next time on The Chef You and I. Thanks for joining us on The Chef You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show. 